Hi, this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. In this video, I want to show you a little brief summary of the gel test software and how to get through it. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for your purchase, and we'll try and get through this as quick as possible. So here on the first screen is all your software listed, depending on which package you bought. Any inboard, outboard, PWC, and generator. At the top, your little star, that's going to be your history. That's going to pull up what, what you uh, pulled up last time. And then your vessel browser here is your magnifying glass. So you can pull it up by uh, search by model or search in vessel list. Your GRP, that's going to stand for garage resource planning. We'll go ahead and click on that. That's going to be where uh, all your information is saved to Jaltest server. Uh, so you'll never lose it. This is also where you're going to be able to find your reports, your client lists, uh, your vessel lists. If you have more than one uh, unit, you can share the information through those three. Um, you'll be able to find that under workshop management. So there's your client list, and that's section in client and vessels, your reports. You can do diagnosis reports and maintenance reports. And we'll click on the maintenance reports. And that also pulls up the diagnosis reports just to give you guys an idea of what they look like. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close that out. And next we're going to look at this little planet with the circle around it. And this is where you're going to find your job test website. You want to go to this website as soon as you get your unit and go ahead and register it as soon as you can. Now you click on that website and it's going to pull up gelltest.com. Take a, just a second. Okay, so there it is. What you're going to do first is go straight into clients and click on that tab. It's going to pull up here. This is your client access. You can put your username and password in there to get your information if you'd like. If you haven't registered, the first thing you want to do is go down here to register as a new gel test user and you go ahead and hit that registration button. Click on that. And it's going to bring up your form. Okay, you can scroll down through it. You want to fill out all that information and send it to gel test. The VAT number and tax ID number. If you don't have one, you just type in whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You know, three, four, five, um, it'll work. doesn't matter. So fill all this information out and send it to them. That's the way, uh, if you look for your expert mode, they're going to send it through your email or through a uh, text message. And that's how you can get through that. You type your email and then company telephone, all that information. And so we'll close that out. Okay, your little button here that's shaded out right now, that's your preview to reports. So while you're running through the codes or freeze frames, it's going to pull up all on that uh, report preview before you save it or send it out. Okay. So the next button is your main menu. That's where you're going to find your configuration, your link and your feedback, license, all that information. We're going to go to configuration. That's where you can change the graphics. Uh, this is how you ac activate your expert mode. So what you would do is click that box, type in your code, and hit activate. If you don't have it, you can also get get it through here. It's going to take you back to that registration page. So you can get that expert mode uh, emailed to you or text to you. Okay, so the units of measurement, you can change those in this tab here. Your auxiliary configurations is basically going to change how the buttons are on your interface right there, whether they're side or up and down. Your messages, you can choose to activate or de deactivate. And your product improvement, it just explains that they use some of the information to make their product better. We'll close that out. Your gel test link, this is where you're going to find your Bluetooth and USB. So if you need to switch that over, uh, but that all should be ready for you out of the box. You'll also be able to do a connection test to see if it's picking up correctly. And your serial number and PIN number is also on there too. Your gel test feedback, that's going to be more or less for us. If there's an issue when you guys call in or if a suggestion or something like that, that's how we send the information to gel test. And they'll let us know what they're doing to fix 
or what they can do to add that information. This tab is your keyboard, and there's your screenshot tab, and there's your print tab, your question mark, that's going to where you find your glossary, your installation guide, contact details, your unit conversion this is a nice little tool. You can find that right here. If you want to change KPA to PSI, you can do so. Change to PSI, and it'll do it for you right there. Okay, also you have your icon description, what we're going through now. And then we'll move up and show you the glossary. That's where you can find other information in case you're not sure. Okay. So we'll go ahead and go into this inboard just to show you what it looks like. Here is your manufacturer list. So you can scroll through this way by this arrow. Or you can move by the right and just click it once. It'll go all the way down. If you want to close that out, you can close it out. I'm going to go over here to Mercury Mercruiser. And this will show you all your models um, listed right here. On your left hand side, this is going to show you your information. Um, you can see that they're shaded out. That means it's, they don't have them yet. And when they're nice and bright, that's when you know that information is there. So we'll go ahead and select a model. And you can see once you click one at that left hand side, it's going to give you more information. So we know we have the diagrams, the vessel service data, vessel technical data, and the troubleshooting guide. Okay, so that shows your systems. If you hit the special functions, that's going to show your special functions on the right hand side. Listed right there. So your systems is how I usually do it. Um, here's all your ECM different models. You can go and see the pictures by clicking on that little picture on the right hand side and it will show you and you can match it up to whatever you have. So we'll go ahead and click that one. This is your connection button. It's going to show you your cables and where to find that connector. You can see on the right hand, left hand side, there's your arrow showing you where that connector is. And also it may have couple different connections just depending on how that software is laid out so you can see it it'll say available connections one or two or however many there are so here's your cable here on the right hand side your JDC 600 and your JDC 603 they both come with the inboard kit and if you wanted to use the multi pins if you didn't have that cable you can hit that plus side and that will give you the detailed information all on one page you can scroll through Okay, so we'll go ahead and clear that out. And if you were using the 600, 603, you would go ahead and just scroll up to the top right corner where it says connect, hit the button, and you're ready to go. This is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, we'll have more videos to come, and thanks for watching.